hello, I'm coming to you, uh, you know, in my messy studio on the second day of NaNoWriMo after writing with marker all over my hands from prepping for my art classes because it was just that important to me to hype up this book which came out today. It's called Into the Blood Red Woods. I received it as an ARC from Scholastic and I loved it. If you love fairy tale retellings, it is for you. It has like all the greatest hits kind of remixed um, into the framework of a really interesting new story. So the basics are that there, is, there are two kids, a princess and a prince, and the princess is a werebear, so she can turn into a bear, and the prince is um, amazing with automatons and mechanical things and building things. And their father, the king, decides to split the kingdom between the two of them. The princess, who's the werebear, gets all of the natural things, um, the forest, the farmland, and then the prince gets, you know, the merchants and the town and all the mechanical things. And um, the prince tries to take over the, the princess's, Ursula's, half of the kingdom and, and burns it to the ground, essentially. Um, and it's sort of the tale of how they survive, how they endure, how they, you know, try to retake the kingdom. Um, so all these fairy tales are sort of interwoven within this framework. It addresses, like, every kind of love that you can think of in a really wonderful way. Um, and there's a really cool framing device throughout the story, um, that really plays with, I, re I enjoy books that play with different perspectives and you get so many different characters perspectives on things that are happening. You know, you're getting the princess's perspective on decisions that are being made. You're getting the prince's perspective, which is wildly different. And he's kind of the villain in the story and he's so fully fleshed out. Like I don't agree with the things he does, but I totally understand why he does them. There's an internal logic. It's really consistent and like chilling. Um, in how consistent it is, like you can predict what he will do and the prediction is horrible and correct. <laughs> and um, just so many, just wonderful characters. There are characters who disagree with the princess and how she's choosing to handle things. Um, there's more of a, a working man's point, point of view. There's the point of view of people who feel like, why do we even need, you know, princes and princesses and kings? So it really like kind of tackles a lot of different things in a way that's super entertaining. I couldn't put it down, um, just race through it. I knew the second I pulled it out of the box, like just looking at the cover, I was like, this is for me. It's by Martha Brockenbrough. Brockenbrough? She might be Scottish, I don't know. Um, but again, if you like fantasy, if you like YA, if you like fairy tale retellings, any of those things, it is a great book. It is for you. Read it, love it. Tell me what you think of it. Tell me if you're going to read it in the comments. And you know, I'm going to say the thing, like and subscribe if you want to see more random late night book recommendations from me.